In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Loving God, you have revealed your love for us through the mission of your Son, Jesus, in the Spirit. You called St. Arnold to share in this go ongoing mission of bringing light to our dark world by founding three missionary congregations. Like him, we dedicate ourselves to the service of your kingdom. In this triduum of prayer, we wish to express our gratitude for inspiring St. Arnold's missionary enthusiasm and for giving him as a model for us. We ask that your Holy Spirit may pray in us and help us to live out what we say. St. Arnold, you adore the Father in spirit and in truth. Implore for us zeal and fidelity to the service of God. You dedicate yourself completely to the service of the Divine Word. Implore for us generosity and steadfastness in our Christian vocation. You open yourself unreservedly to the Holy Spirit's action. Implore for us an openness and obedience to the Spirit's impulses. You were inflamed with zeal for the triune God's glory. Implore for us similar zeal and dedication of life that the Holy Triune God may live in our in every heart. You were deeply impressed by the riches of grace and truth in Christ. Implore for us the grace to penetrate more deeply by prayer and contemplation into the saving mystery of Christ's love which surpasses all understanding. The sentiments of the sacred heart of Jesus shape your life and service implore for us the grace that the same sentiments determine our thinking and acting listening to god's word and attentive to the signs of the times you untiringly sought god's will and followed it courageously even in difficult circumstances help us that faithful to the gospel and our vocation and open to god's call in the sign of the times we may recognize and do God's will. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Please kneel. Prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were, before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, you became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is being offered for the following intentions shown on the screen.
A blessed day to all of you, brothers and sisters, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on Tuesday, first week in ordinary time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Alfredo Rollon Jr., SVD, Associate Priest of the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Let us trust the ways of the Lord in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning. Our presence here is our expression of the authority of Jesus in our lives. We believe that He is God. We believe that this sacrament is a sacrament of making presence. That Jesus is present here in the divine word that we are about to share and the body and blood of Christ that we are to offer and later on partake. And so with this, we prepare ourselves and ask the Lord to make us worthy receivers of his grace. Together, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, to and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not to the angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere what is man that you are mindful of him or the son of man that you care for him you made him for the little while lower than the angels you crowned him with glory and honor subjecting all things under his feet in subjecting all things to him he left nothing not subject to him yet at present we do not see all things subject to him but we do see jesus 
crowned with glory and honor. Because he suffered death, he who for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have the origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren. In the midst of the assembly, I will praise you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O Lord, our Lord, how great glorious is your name over all the earth. Man is not that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have made him a little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. <clears throat> Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. <clears throat> His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, our dear seminarians here at Christ the King. Many of you have known me for a couple of years already and probably have seen some of the things that I'm doing here in Christ the King. If I say about plants people will probably listen because you have seen how i spend time in my garden there near the faculty or if i talk about um, oral communication or um, 
media and information literacy because I am teaching those subjects and at the same time I am still uh, finishing my <laughs> MA thesis and I'm studying communication and if I say that I am a good magician probably you will say uh, let us wait and see if I say I can make this ball pen disappear Dex, maniniwala ka ba? I can make it disappear? <laughs> si Pibo, sabi, <laughs> si Nash doon, parang hindi rin naniniwala, nakikita ka si Nash. Oh, ayan, nagdala ko ng ball pen. Oh, I will make it disappear. Oh, ha? Oh, one. Kani kayo, manood kayo. Two. Oh, three. Nawala. Ay, nalaglag. And then I will earn boo because I'm not that kind of person. Eh tayo, we need authority. We need credibility. Pagdating sa mga performers, pagdating sa mga professors, lalo na pagdating sa pananampalataya at salita ng Diyos. And Jesus, when he entered the synagogue and taught, people were astonished because of his authority. I don't know if we have the typical way of establishing the credibility, the authority of somebody in front of us. Maybe in the beginning of this Mass, it helps that the introduction will be our celebrant for today is Father Alfredo Rolion Jr., Associate Priest of the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Or in other occasions, when we introduce somebody, we tell people about the person's biography, where person came from, educational attainment or even the way a person dresses himself we call it in uh, rhetoric the initial ethos that a person wearing a a an alb a chasuble is credible to be a celebrant or a person wearing a coat and tie will be more convincing, especially in an appropriate occasion. And Jesus, ano ba? Itsura ng Panginoon. No. We are probably still arguing or researching of what Jesus wore during that time. Long hair ba siya? Hindi ba masyadong mahaba? Balbasarado ba? And how it appears. But then, what cannot be denied is His presence. That people acknowledge that this person is different than those who are teaching about God, those who are proclaiming about the Word of God. He is the Word. The Word made flesh and dwelt among us. He is not telling people that, well, thus says the Lord. Countless times we heard of him telling, I say to you, sinasabi ko sa inyo. And of course, this authority is enhanced by the way he lived his life. Not only the power, but also the love and compassion he showed to people. His care, which the second part of the gospel tells us. Somebody 
was possessed by the evil spirit. At anong sabi doon? That even the devil contributed to this persona, to this authority of Jesus. When in fear, the devil said, I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And not only that acknowledgement, but also the way Jesus rebuked the Spirit when He said, Quiet, come out of Him. Trembling in fear, the devil left that person. And so, his name grew. People have never sinned like him. He's not like this phony magician in front of you <laughs> telling that he can make this ball pen disappear. Well, I can make this ball pen disappear by putting it in my pocket. But Jesus. And so, ano gagawin natin doon sa authority na yan? If we acknowledge this authority, then we should better be listening to every word that comes out from the word or from the mouth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Make him the authority of our faith. Make him the authority of every action we do. Let us continue listening to him and be guided. We have never seen like this or anything like this. We have never heard such a teacher in front of us. And there will never be, there will be never or there will never be a greater person, a greater authority. And of course, there will never be a person like Jesus. And so they said, make him the authority of our lives. Amen. We all stand as we pray. So the gospel Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. God truly powerful, touch us. God truly powerful, touch us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God truly, truly powerful, powerful, touch us. That the world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in the societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God truly, truly powerful, powerful touch, touch us. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God truly, truly powerful, powerful touch, touch us. That the sick may be freed from their physical and spiritual infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God truly, truly powerful, powerful touch, touch us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God truly, truly powerful, powerful touch, touch us. For the most vulnerable in the population, our dear senior citizens, those who have pre-existing medical conditions, and the poor, that they may be protected from contracting the virus. Let us pray to the Lord. God, truly powerful, touch us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, dear friends, may sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishop, Ernesto and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, dear Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another God's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the authority of our lives. Behold him, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those who renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Horatio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people us to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, their Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Saint, Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renademitz. Pray for us. Please be seated for some announcements. Our Shrine Fiesta activities on the occasion of the National Bible Sunday with the theme, Sambayanang Kristiano, Gifted to Give, Empowered by God's Word, are as follows. Triduum Masses in honor of Jesus the Divine Word, January 20, Wednesday, 6 p.m. January 21, Thursday, 6 p.m. Presider, Father Randy Flores, SVD, Head Biblical Apostolate, Roman Catholic Diocese of Cubao. January 22, Friday, 6 p.m. Presider, Father R. Loyap, SVD, Executive Secretary, CBCP, ACBA. Our Fiesta Mass and, Sun and Sunday of the Word celebration will be on January 24, Sunday, 8 a.m. to be presided by Most Reverend Bishop Onesto Ontioco Didi. Bishop of the Diocese of Cubao. We invite everyone to join in our fiesta activities, which are live streamed and open to the public in accordance with the IATF guidelines. Thank you. Please stand. Well, before I give the final blessing, maybe some of you are present here, and those who are following us in the live stream are, are wondering, you know. Why do we have a prayer no, in honor of uh, Arnold Jansen? And who is this Arnold Jansen na nandito ngayon sa ating may bangka? Well, he is the founder of the our congregation, the Society of the Divine Word, the SVD. And we're about to celebrate his feast on January 15. That's why we're having this Triduum prayer or the preparation for the celebration of the feast. Once again, si Arnold Jansen po. Yan, naririnig niyo lagi yan sa Orati Emperata kasama ng isa pa naming santo, si Joseph Renademens. Si Saint Arnold Jansen, the founder of the SVD, the Congregation of the Society of the Divine Word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and share the good news. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
with the Holy Triune God living reign in our hearts. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reynandemitz, near Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.